Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the WordPress Custom Post Metabox course. In this lesson, we are going to make sure that our users are not able to upload anything except MP3s. And if they try, we're gonna reject the file and we're gonna display a nice error message that fits in natively with the WordPress dashboard. So let's go ahead and get started. If you recall from the last lesson, you're able to take a look at the post and we have a link to the MP3 here at the bottom of the post. But there's a problem. Let's go back to the dashboard and I'm gonna take a screenshot of my web browser. And then I'm gonna to choose to upload the screenshot that I just took. I'll click update. And then I'll go to the post and refresh it. And notice when I hover over the link, it actually provides a URL to the PNG file of the screenshot that I just took. Now that's what we don't want. So specifically in this lesson, we are going to implement a function that will take a look at the file extension being uploaded. If it's an MP3, it will be accepted. If it's not an MP3, it will be rejected and a error message will be displayed. So let's go ahead and hop into our IDE. Similarly, we wrote a user can save helper function earlier in this course. So let's go ahead and begin writing a helper function cpmb is valid mp3 and we'll allow it to accept a file name. This doesn't need to be added to any hook because it's just going to be examining the file name and returning a true or a false. But this raises the question, how do we go about determining the extension of a file name? Okay. First, we're going to pass the file name into the path info function, and then that will return us a collection of path parts. As part of that collection or array, there will be a key called extension. And then I'm gonna call a string to lower or a stir to lower on the extension and compare it to MP3. I'll return MP3 equals stir to lower path parts extension. If it's an MP3, it'll return true. If it's not an MP3, it'll return false. Now. Once we've written this utility function, we can actually take advantage of it in order to determine if we're uploading an MP3 or not. So let's return to the function where, let's return to the function cpmb save metabox data. And then just before we begin using upload bits, let's say if cpmb is valid MP3 and the file name, we'll go ahead and give it files, MP3 file name we'll proceed with the work that we've already written. Otherwise, we'll update the post meta with the post ID, the MP3 key, but we'll say invalid file type. Now let's go ahead and indent this code to make it a little bit more readable. We'll save our work and then we'll return to the browser. From here, let's select the screenshot that we took earlier and then we'll click update. And once the post is updated, we'll refresh the page. And notice when we hover over the link, it says localhost slash hello world slash invalid file type. So that means that our helper function and our upload function is working. But there's a couple of things we need to do in addition to simply just saying invalid file type. So let's return to the IDE. And the first thing that we want to do is check if the post meta associated with this particular post is equal to the invalid file type. So we'll say get post meta post ID mp3 true. And if so, then what we'll do is provide a div container for displaying an error message. Here you can see we're giving it the ID of invalid file type, and we're also giving it a class error. Now error is a class that's provided by WordPress that will allow us to style it within the context of the WordPress dashboard. So let's try this now. Let's scroll down. Let's choose the screenshot once again and let's click update. Notice that at the very top of the screen, it says you're trying to upload a file other than an MP3, and it's, do it's doing so within the same styles of the native WordPress dashboard. Of course, this doesn't do anything to fix the problem here on the front end, so let's address this issue as well. Let's return to the IDE, and where we're responsible for displaying the data, in the cpmb display mp3 function, let's do a check against that same exact post metadata. Okay, so the logic that I've provided is simple. It says that if the invalid file type is not equal to get post meta mp3 
true, then do not display a link to the MP3 file. Otherwise, the link will be generated. So let's hop back to the browser and we'll refresh the page. And if we scroll down, we'll notice that we now have no link to an MP3. So let's return back here to the edit post. We'll scroll down. We'll add a new MP3. You can use the one that we've been using or choose a new one of your own. And just for fun, let's change the name of this song to something like Beethoven's Fifth. We'll update. We notice that we don't see an error message. We notice that we have the title of the MP3. We'll go to the page, we'll refresh, and we notice that not only do we have a link, but it also links to the file. So at this point, we've covered everything that's needed in order to upload an MP3 using a custom post meta box and do so all the while ensuring that you cannot upload anything except that type of file. At this point, we've covered everything that we've needed to for the WordPress custom meta box post. At this point, we've covered everything that we set out to do in this course. So in the next lesson, we'll take a survey of everything that we set out to do We'll hit on the pointers that we covered, and then we'll wrap everything up. We'll also cover as to how you can follow up with the plugin that was developed during this course and how you can continue to work with custom post meta boxes in your day-to-day -day work. Can't wait to see you in the next lesson, and I'll see you there.